So today we're going to be creating, oh my god, I'm so jittery. I just had a coffee and I feel like, like, see, my hands, they're shaking because <laughs> I need to eat breakfast. It's really early in the morning and I wanted to film the video since I go to school throughout the whole week. We're doing a Valentine's Day hair tutorial and we're also doing this makeup look so keep a look out for that if it's not already uploaded but today I wanted to do this since Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I did get requests to do hair and makeup so um, the products that I use today they're in a bundle set for a hundred dollars and look at this freaking cute little leopard mini blow dryer and this is the straightening iron that we're using today it's a little bit hot so I don't want to touch it but I do talk about it throughout the video and it comes in a little pouch just like this. So when you're traveling, you can store your hair dryer in here, your straightener in here and stuff. And it won't get damaged between all your stuff. I wish Valentine's Day was already today so I can wear this out. But unfortunately, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just staying home. But anyways, I gotta do homework today. So I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye! I hope you don't mind I'm filming this video here in the bathroom. I try to film it in my closet. But... I just don't have enough space to set up my like tools and all that stuff so I'm here in my bathroom where everything is set out. Hopefully you don't mind like the fan going on because if I turn it off like it's gonna look like this. It's just unflattering. So you get more light like this or like this. I'm still in my PJs. <laughs> We're going to have side swept bangs. I'm just gonna grab my bangs to the side. These might be too much. Yeah, these long ones are a little bit too much. So there we go. I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to twist them to get them out the way so I can work with the rest of my hair. And just take a bobby pin and pin it out the way. I feel so much better filming the video here because I have all this space in my closet. I was like so like claustrophobic. So kind of section off the area that I want to tease. So I'm just going to take this pick and this one you can find it at Sally's Beauty Supply Store for I forgot how much but less than $5. Like less than $4 I know for sure. Alright, so this area is going to be teased, and you can just grab the rest and secure it with a headband so it's just out the way. And now what we're going to do is you have a few options. If you don't have bumpets, because that's what I'm going to use today, you can take areas and tease them and you can blow dry them. Now this is one of the blow dryers that comes with the kit that I'm going to be using today and this is the Baby Deluxe Travel Size Blow Dryer. It works really really well and it's super cute. I'm going to use this hairspray today and this is the Fructi Style Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray and this stuff is amazing. Especially right now since the weather it's been raining and it's just humid outside. It's not really humid in California but if you live like on the east coast, I'm just going to take sections like that and just going to bring it forward and I'm taking this teasing comb from um, Sally's Beauty Supply Store and it has just like three rows of teeth and it works really really well for teasing. Um, my little sister Wendy, she also recommended another one that she uses for teasing because she likes to tease a lot and it looks more like a hairbrush but it's really thin like this amazing stuff. So. What I'm going to do is shake up my hairspray and, oh this is cold, and just spray it like that, shake it up a little bit and this is the part where you can grab your blow dryer after you teeth it and it just kind of holds the, the teasing better. So I'm just going to bring it forward, this is what I like to do, and grab it very lightly and just bring it down in long strokes like that. So we have this, okay? Up and down and up and down. 
Do you guys remember the Banga Boys? Like the Banga Boys or the Banga Bus? It was like house music. I really liked that when I was like in sixth grade. I loved that city. Anyways, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna continue with the tea stain. Ah, I let it go. No. I really wish this fan wasn't on. I'm so sorry. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. Oh, I'm actually gonna use these two bump bits. And the reason I'm using both of them is because when I use one, it kind of tends to look a little awkward, like like it's big and then flat. So maybe um, it works a little better if you put the small one in the front, or you could even do the big one. Actually, that's how we're going to do it. We're going to place the little one in the back so it's not just as flat. So take your teasing hair, your teased hair like this, and then grab the big one and place it right here. Alright? And then grab the little one and place it right behind it. Just kind of wiggle it so it grabs onto the hair and then it shouldn't fall off. Alright? And then just take a section, the first section, and then just kind of like pat it down like this. grab onto the teeth and just cover it you see the straightened iron that comes in this little pouch just it's a set that comes together really pretty and when you open it up if you travel you can just store your hair your straightened iron in here so I'm just going to hook this up. The cool thing about this one, it has like these small ridges all throughout, if you can see them. It's like a brush. So it combs the strand. And then here you have the on button. And it goes all the way up to 450 degrees and to decrease the heat. And then the top one to increase the heat. So we're just going to press it. 450 and that's just showing you how fast it's heating up it's really pretty and purple and it also has this really cool grip here so when you're trying to curl your hair with this you can just grab it and it has ridges here too so it doesn't slip but be careful don't just grab it like that and start twisting it because you are going to bring yourself because of the plates that are like right next to it so when you twist it twist it and grab it Twist it and grab it. Alright, so what we are doing today is pretty much just curling the ends to give it some texture. You don't have to be so precise with everything. So let me just pull this down. So for example, grab a strand. And it works better, like the ridges work a lot better if you use um, like small strands like maybe this big. I'm going to curl the whole thing. We just want to give the ends some texture, so just grab the ends and pull it down. The slower you pull it down, the more tighter the curl is. But all we're doing is curling the ends like that, so grab very small strands. Because if you grab thick ones, I found it that it gets stuck on the little ridges and it's hard to pull down. So. That. And then we're going to do this throughout the whole set of hair. As you can see the little ridges here grabbing the hair. I am done just giving some texture to my ends. Now we're going to move on to fun part, putting the whole look together. Okay, you want to take some of these rubber bands, just grab everything together and just twist it twice. This is the reason why we wanted to give it texture so the ends just don't poke out. <laughs> my hair is in my face. And you're going to need a lot, a lot of bobby pins, alright? So just grab a section. And then this, just have fun with it and just kind of like twist it and pin it however you want to. To my little outfit. 
And now what I'm going to do is, like I said, polish this whole look together because it looks a little bit too messy. My bangs are a little bit too long. I kind of want to cut them like straight across. I think I might just do that today. But anyways, um, I'm just going to take the straightening iron and straighten this part out. I'm actually going to curl it inward because we're going to be tucking this in the back. But if you have side swept bangs that like are really like maybe this long, that would look really cute. But mine are like freaking long. So I'm just going to curl them in. I haven't had breakfast and I just had coffee. So I feel like really jittery right now, like shaking. Um, for this part, gonna take a hairbrush and some hairspray and then I'm just gonna spray down here on the other side and then I'm just gonna polish this down like this and do so on the other side All right And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin. I'm just going to pin this to the back like this. I'm just going to let this fall. Just like that. So this pretty much completes the whole look. Now let me just grab um, another bobby pin because as I was taking off my t-shirt, these little strands came out. But anyways, here's a romantic little updo. I hope you guys like it and it's actually very, very easy. It's just that it takes a lot of time explaining it, you know? But tease, side sweat bangs, grab it to the side, pin it up, and that's it. You're done. So I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye!